Norwich, J. V. Mingi, Thistletown, Lingwood, Norwich, O. Oh, wow. What's that? J. W. Mingi, J. W. Mingi, Thistletown, Lingwood, Norwich. No. Interesting. How do you... Doesn't look like that's holding anything. That's some very nice... Look at these crystals. They're like rainbow, like iris, but like darker. Look at that. I have like this grey, green and red in. Oh, wow. I've never seen anything like that. And don't forget this glass. It's like cornelian. I don't think it is. But wow. I like this combination. And it says dog. <laughs> Did it say dog or dag? <laughs> I think it says dag. Yeah, it's not dog, it says dag. But I don't really understand how do you like do you put it on? It looks like a brooch, but like, you know, a pin, but um, doesn't seem to be holding much. Look at this. It says dag. I thought it says dog. Yeah, Dag. Gosh, I mean, I don't know what that is, why that is, but it's beautiful. Um, some stuff here. Very small. Oh. Oh wait. Like a cross. Yeah, it looks like that's a cross. And there is a small bead chip stone. I think that's from something we've seen. Just a wire. bead, an element of something, some more crystals here, three small crystals, don't know what that's from. Okay, and then there were these two. Open the one with the rhinestones and beads and whatnot. I think I found <laughs> another moonstone. People are throwing their moonstones like they're nothing. They're beautiful. Look at that. Well, it's signed 9 to 5, but I don't trust it. 
Although it's not magnetic. Look at that. It's a cabochon. It's like amethyst or fluorite. Oh, glass. I think it's natural. I think it is. Like amethyst. Another one of these. Beads, chips. Now that's actually a. Um, where my daughter wants to sleep. That's actually um, a button, plastic button. And that's uh, also a button, but you sew it like that, probably. Sew it. You know what? It might be glass and not plastic. So I think this is glass. Um, looks like an another one of these. And that's a um, crystal rhinestone. And it looks like it's also glass. Or maybe plastic. This might be plastic. A... Uh, I don't know, it's chipped. This is a rhinestone. So you can put it somewhere. I think it's plastic. It's a chipped, broken. Well, I'm not showing, am I? It's looking. Oh, that's a nice crystal to put somewhere in the jewelry. I think it's glass. I think I've seen that somewhere. And that's some scissors. So that was in this bag. I'll put it back. There's another small baggie. this baggie and we're done okay some elements I think I've seen the end of it the broken end of it in the bag looks like you know pot metal or something like that or pewter maybe might be pewter I like this is this was um it's glue, so it was glued on something. Wheat. And that's very similar to that. And it also has glue on the on the back. Or maybe it's lead. Sounds a bit like lead too. And that's an element of some sort. Another element of some sort. Nice bead. Oh. <laughs> Look, it's an earring. Cute. not silver, it's just a cute earring. And another cute earring. This one is actually signed. I feel like I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking at the jewelry and so I'm not out of focus. But that's a cute earring and it's actually signed PT. I've never heard of PT. Let me know in the comment if you know the company. And there is this element. Is it 
Mr. Fox. Oh, cat. I think it's a fox. No idea what it was used for. And this element, just a plastic. I think it's celluloid. And it looks like it was glued on something. Plastic Scotty dog. Okay, that was <laughs> fun. Very unexpected. I like to buy in charity shops because I know what I'm buying. I only buy what I need. Um, haven't bought anything online and definitely not, not lots for a very long time. Um, but it can be very fun because it's a bit unexpected. <laughs> definitely very unexpected. So unfortunately we didn't find these. That's very interesting. Dag. of some sort. I liked that. That's another mystery object that will need to be researched. Too bad I didn't find this earring. like this one. Um, but I don't know just one. Nice bracelet. I think it's Indian. Uh, 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 uh. Looks good. <laughs> Too bad. No. Another mystery object. <laughs> oh yeah, I did like this thing. I like this. I love this. Another mystery object. I think we've seen one of these stones somewhere. Is that gold? <laughs> it's not magnetic. Uh, but this one had a pair somewhere. Here it is. I like this one. One. So that's my favorite finds. I like these beads, they're fantastic. So beautiful. That's so much and very crude. I like these ones. Dream catches. I like this one. I was missing. Missing rhinestones, and I do find. I did find, just found a rhinestone, but it wasn't marcasite. So there are missing, one missing marcasite, two missing marcasites, two missing marcasites. And I like this signature with the flower on the back, and the Capricorn sign, and I love this. <laughs> I really like this. Pen, well, I call it pendant already, and this one, and the bracelet is very cute. <laughs> the Adam, and this one. But overall, I, I think I like the other a lot much more than this one, but uh, it's interesting, it's exciting, it's new stuff. And a small, very small. 
I wonder if it go on the eye on that <laughs> on the fly from the previous video. So that's all for today. We'll see you in the next video. It will be just charity shop this time.